All right, guys, I'm back with more. Here we have the next next sketchbook. So let's take a look at what we have here. I don't know. I don't even know if the the camera can capture all of this. So we have a giant walker. Seems good. It's just a pencil sketch. Different legs. I don't know. That's kind of weird. So that was a thing. And that's it? No, there's more. I don't know how I skipped a page. Here we have a giraffe-like creature that has antlers. It's really hard to see. So that was the sketch idea. I never, never pushed it further than that. Here we have some thumbnail drawings, just trying to figure out composition and playing around with that. This girl's got quite a big head. She must be very smart. Thumbnail drawings a lot of artists recommend for practice. Here we have a gorilla. This guy looks pretty cool. He's all like, huh? Here we have some unicorn-like dudes, penguins and things yelling. Another gorilla pounding his chest, I'm assuming. And here we have one of those unicorn sketches pushed a little bit further and colored in with Copics. So this is on white paper, as you may have noticed, obviously, from the tone paper. It's quite a bit different because now everything is light that you don't color. So it's a different type of drawing experience. Here we have some more creatures. A lot of very empty paper aside from that. Here we have an owlet. Outlet. So it's an owl with an outlet face. I know, kind of weird. And obviously it wouldn't be one of my sketchbooks without a ton of tanks. And these tanks differ from the other ones because now I actually went in and added a lot more tone to them. At least the designs which I you know, thought were more complete or needed to be pushed a little further. So all of, most of these were drawn with ballpoint pen, no pencil, so that if there were mistakes, I would go over with the ink, the darker ink color, and clean up any mistakes and correct those. And then I would go in with Copic markers and drop in highlights and shadows throughout. Here you can see like little smoke effects. So that's, that's cool. Here's like a double turreted design. Here's some uglier shapes, but you know what? Who cares? <laughs> Here we have some weird creature, never, obviously never pushed it that far, so we won't talk about that. Here's a little cute reindeer type thing. Turned out pretty cool. And that was in 2014, so these are pretty old too. I think this is one of my only other 2014 sketchbooks. Just like one from the last video. Here are different sharks with some really strange shapes. A girl in a ball, and she's playing. <laughs> she's playing with her friends, but she can't. I don't know why I did this. That's really weird. Here's Earthshaker from Dota 2. This is a picture. One of my friends uh, took this shot, and her legs looked extremely long for some reason, and it was hilarious. So I I took it and drew it from reference but obviously characterized it here are I wanna say inktober drawings but I could be wrong so there's very little ink you know it's just done for the outlines and all that but most of it is afterwards colored with Copic so the idea is the penguins are sculpting this guy and I don't know I just thought they look it just looks hilarious like the difference between the two here's an Ewok but he looks like my annoying little cousin, so I don't really like it. <laughs> Obviously, you guys feel free to pause and look at these in more detail if I'm flipping quickly through them. Here's a bunch of different cats that I did from reference and a couple from non-reference, as you can tell. A couple dogs, like a corgi down here. And then you can see that there's a giraffe. This paper is really thin, so the Copic markers show up and I don't end up drawing anything on the back pages of the giraffes. Here's more characters, dragons, aliens, weird mouth stuff. So a lot of doodles. I don't I don't feel like this is something that actually helps me improve to draw or or it helps my drawing improve and evolve. This is just me straight up doodling uh, nonsensically. So 
you can imagine like if you're a swimmer and you're learning competitive swimming if you are playing around with floaties and stuff you're not gonna you're not gonna improve so this is sort of that it's not at all like drawing to improve here's a clone trooper stormtrooper mashup design with a little bit of color and this is already in 2015 according to the little signature at the bottom here's a finger drawing so I would draw his hands over my finger and then it would look like he's holding on to my finger people like those types of drawings on Instagram you can't really see this but it's a giant beast with six eyes and then a couple spear dudes and they're like dinner just kidding they didn't say that here's a more organized drawing of a mech and I don't do this often, but what I did is I used a ruler and got two lines and tried to line up the different perspective of the tank, a side view and a front view, to get the proportions similar. Here we have a two-legged walker, and here we have a four-legged walker. And these actually look really cool. I don't I'm I surprise myself sometimes. And then using this same design idea with the bulbous thingy the little circle sphere that they sit in we have a, a flak truck type artillery thing and this this design is pretty neat too so it's a tank but the front has these giant robotic arms that kind of you can imagine they'll dig in and so when the tank fires it doesn't have crazy recoil so the idea is this gun just overlaps and as it crawls the arms will also crawl with it so I don't think this is too original I'm pretty sure there's very similar stuff out there here's another kind of three-point um, drawing of this mech right here and a similar design again with tracks and legs up front for that drawing this guy is pretty neat it's an orc and he's kind of walking and he's doing a head turn his uh, arm wraps look pretty cool um, I learned this kind of technique all the way back in like ninth grade where I was drawing warriors with you know those straps on their wrists and I was playing around with shading and I was like oh that looks neat so using that similar idea I created that drawing here we have an ATAT -AT with like all these guns on the side uh, it just looks very ugly very unappealing in my opinion this guy looks nicer but mm. so this was as you can see, a lot of the page is still empty because I decided to move on. Here we have a knight on his valiant steed. And it's just like a kid on a toy wearing a helmet made out of I don't know what, probably a plastic bucket. Here's another tumbler style picture. A little cat and then a giant lion for the shadow. Never finished that. I was like, eh, whatever. Here we have this creature. Never pushed it further, but the proportions and stuff actually look rather well done, in my opinion. Like, you can tell, you know, the tail's there, the legs don't look too out of place, the hands match up, and he's got shoulders and neck. So everything is there. Here we have a cat. Don't know what type of cat, but it's there. Moving on, we have an angel his wings are very light I never never went in with a pen or anything and then here I'm assuming this was gonna be like armor for the angel or whatever I don't know a skull I don't draw a lot of skulls an octopus ninja thing we have uh, porcupine this flying thing that Bobby Chu drew and I was looking at you know his idea and sketching that out this guy with some teeth, another octopus down here. Nothing on the back of that. Some cats. Cat in a hoodie. Oops, hit the camera. Why not? Why not have a hoodie? Here are some more compositions for ideas. Drawing ideas. Uh, this is for a film documentary that I worked on, and it's. Um, another storyboard there let's turn this around these are different ideas for helmets some Star Wars inspired stuff 
as you can tell some very weird weird things going on here like this I don't know if that would work here's a ship down here some more ships a dude that actually looks pretty cool I think I was watching the original animation um, the original Star Wars Clone Wars animation that was on Cartoon Network here are some more ship designs I don't know why that would was a thing here's a Star Destroyer type thing with ships flying out some more thumbnail drawings a bot I guess oh, these are cool here we have some flamingos a turtle he's tired a pelican another flamingo thing or or it's a, a swan no not a swan stork there we go a little uh, clone right there I think this was a sloth not sure some more fish here's this drawing I, I did I took this drawing right here and did a painting of it on the iPad that's neat I don't always do that I don't always take from my physical drawings and turn them into iPad stuff here's a bunny jumping he looks kind of weird I did this for Mother's Day bringing your mom a gift giant fish all pencil so as you can see even with pencil you know you can get some great values you can push push the value scale to really dark and then have those mediums slightly darker gray I could have probably went darker throughout various parts of the penguin but the idea is there here's another composition of a girl and as you can see it's this giant hand and she's dancing I actually really like how this this turned out I might grab this and do a painting of it and here's the head of the monster so she's like in a forest and she's dancing with nature that's sort of the idea really cool actually here's a sloth it was another one of those finger things from what I remember this one ended up being just pretty bad. I was testing out the different colors, didn't like it. Because the colors seep through, I didn't touch anything. And here we have this beast that's really detailed with a lot of sketches, but I don't like how it looks. I like these guys. These these are cute. Let's see. These two. Well, the one on the left isn't as far done, but yeah. It's just a little fluff ball floating in the air. Here we have another dog. And I think it's ruined with me overcoloring like the blue here. I don't know why I would do that. Um, some of the darker spots here blend, so I didn't really like it much. This guy looks pretty cool, I guess. Ah. It's getting harder and harder to turn the pages, so it's just like a futuristic samurai sword guy jumping. Here are ideas for a game that I had. I'm not going to go into too much detail there. Here are sketches of my cousins. I think this is at Family Camp 2015. <laughs> He's got like this Amish hat. I love that hat. Yeah, this is 2015. According to the little signature on the bottom here's a duck some more game design stuff more game design stuff you can pause and look at it but I'm not gonna go into detail about that because I still might make the game someday some more sketches a dude squishing a penguin and by dude I mean panda look at look at how ridiculous this looks from a profile view or is that profile no neck his head is just like part of his chest how would this thing live I don't know I just found it hilarious so I did that here's another penguin a very simplified one we can probably do a couple videos on how to draw these much more simplified creatures here is a penguin in a, in a scarf some crazy looking bunny Oh, this sketchbook has got a ton of stuff. Here's a frog. <laughs> oh no, not this drawing. So here we have the squad. A banana, a pear, and a pineapple. 
and it says squad on the bottom. Pretty dope. And that was all pencil. Turned out quite funny looking. Uh, that's just an unfinished scribble. Here we have some eyes. People love to see drawings of eyes for whatever reason. So that was a, if you look closely, you know, obviously just kind of scribbling them on. This is some sort of snake cat thing that never finished. Here's a mech running alongside a tank, drawn with pencil, and afterwards just a lot of ink. The tank looks cool, especially like me looking at the camera in front, like what the camera sees. It looks nicer from further away, where you don't get to see it, <laughs> where you can't really see it. Here's a little dragon I did with a golden pencil. If you can see the reflection, I got this little pencil from going to an event. Here we have a crash landing. I think we're we're nearing the end here. Yeah, we are. This this is a much longer sketchbook. Wow. So you got like a little space dude coming out of it. This page is empty. Here we have a very wise and antler type creature. We have a little griffin hawk thing and next to a soldier, so it's obviously a huge animal. At least that's what the scale shows. Here's another antler type thing. This is right before Inktober started. I remember I did this as a warm up sketch, and it's like a sea monster playing around with a ship. He looks kind of weird. A lot of those colors seeped through. I think actually somebody else may have been drawn. No, uh, yeah, I think somebody else was doodling, like one of my cousins or something, and then I ripped that page out. Here's a reindeer with the lack of color. He ended up looking really weird. I didn't have like a, a brighter sand color. I think I ran out of it. Here are a couple birds that I did, and then I colored them in. I really like how this blue one turned out. He's very innocent and, and whatnot, and this cockatoo or turned out pretty cool too. A cyclops fighting a dude. Kind of cool. Here we have a werewolf. Ah, the camera, it's too close, it bumps into it. So here's the werewolf and here's like a sphinx, if that's what they're called. I don't really know. Here's a goo thing and it's fighting a rock thing. I think it was like different elements or different creatures fighting and you can see his arm is like wrapping around that guy that's kind of cool too a zombie I'm not gonna even bother turning the page um, horizontally just because I don't really think that drawing is worth it here's some Star Wars guys going into battle kinda cool not as caricaturized and over exaggerated as some of my other stuff here we have a Yoda you may have guessed it, more planes, but these planes I drew with a purpose. The idea was a 2D game, platforming type, not really platforming, but side-scrolling airplane battling game that includes these crazy ridiculous designs. As you can see, this giant fortress has like 30 guns mounted on top, on the sides. It's a flying carrier, so you've got planes that come out of different bay doors. Here are like just large bombers with machine guns some slightly smaller fighters. So the aesthetic of it, I love the idea. Just obviously, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. Here's like a cutout with where the dudes would sit, where the ammo stored, engine, fuel, a much smaller fighter, and that's it. All right, guys, this is a much longer video just from that one sketchbook. Hope you all enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, again, leave them down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.